Happy Saturday, everybody. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed Chris's workouts this week. We've got one of Coach Steve's creations for you today. Uh, so we're gonna take you guys through the format of this as well as demonstrate uh, all of the movements, uh, regardless of what implement you have. Uh, we'll use a dumbbell primarily if you have one at your disposal. Uh, otherwise, a plate can be used or uh, a backpack, which Chris has demonstrated a lot of these movements um, this week with those implements. Uh, so to go through this really quickly here, in terms of the format, uh, the way this is gonna work is, uh, it's a 30 minute Metcon total. You've got a two minute AMRAP followed by two minutes of rest, and then a four minute AMRAP with two minutes of rest, and then six, two, eight, two, 10, and then you're done. So when you do the math on that, uh, it's 30 minutes total. So that's the format. And then the movements that we're gonna talk about here uh, are going to be the Devil's Press, the Renegade Row, burpees, which we're very familiar with in quarantine here, uh, spider plank, which is a movement we don't see very often, so we'll demonstrate that. Uh, and then we have an overhead lunge of your choosing, uh, again, depending on which implement you have. Um, the way this will work in terms of the logistics is you will start with these devil's press each AMRAP, right? So these later movements, uh, you will probably not earn uh, the ability to get into these, these big sets here. Uh, until some of these later rounds because uh, again you are kicking off every AMRAP with those 10 doubles press uh, so even though this is a chipper uh, you are forced to start again each of the rounds um, after that two minute of rest um, so we're going to talk about uh, each of these movements here uh, I'll demonstrate with each of the implements that you may have uh, and then you guys will get to it cool so uh, to kick it off here we'll talk about the devil's press so we're going to start with 10 of those uh, ideally, you have a dumbbell to use for this particular movement. Uh, most of us are just uh, working with one dumbbell, so if you do have that single dumbbell, um, the goal would be to switch e uh, each rep for that particular movement. So you would start in a position something like this. Again, the doubles press is very similar to a burpee, except we are weighting it. So we'll kind of slump it over, kicking those feet back, chest all the way down, feet land nice and flat, swing that between our legs, and then swing overhead. Then we're going to come back down to the floor, set it kind of in the center so that you can switch hands, come down on the other side, bring those feet forward, swing that overhead, and then back to the floor. Again, it would be 10 reps of those. You want to make sure you keep that back nice and flat and set uh, as you do with all of these movements. So that's the double press with the dumbbell. If you don't have a dumbbell at your disposal, one option would be to use a plate. Uh, if you do have a plate, I would recommend either an ab mat or uh, a book you don't care too much about, something like that, so that uh, you can kind of rest it in this position here and get underneath it with your fingers each of the reps. So again, with this one here, hands on the outside of the plate, chest all the way down, bring those feet in, swing and finish overhead. Everything else remains the same. Again, for each of those reps, you wanna make sure chest comes down to the implement or the floor, kick those feet forward, set that back, swing overhead and repeat. And then last but not least, that same thing uh, would apply with the backpack. So if you have uh, a loaded backpack, you would treat it similar to how we just demoed with that plate. Backpack to the floor, steps all the way down, feet in, swing and finish overhead. So for the next movement, uh, we've got that renegade row uh, we can do that with all of these implements as well. However, the dumbbell is going to be the ideal choice. So with the dumbbell, you have two options here. Uh, it's intended to be an alternating movement. So you would just come down to this position here. What you want to primarily focus on here is a wider foot stance. And then this other hand is going to be more close to that center, kind of aiming for the pocket with that dumbbell. Try to hit it in the center. Switch hands, set, and repeat on the other side. So that would be ideal if you have a dumbbell at your disposal. If you do not, uh, you will do some version of a bent over row. If you have a, a backpack, you would set it up like so, soften those knees, hinge over keeping that back nice and flat, pull up to your chest and repeat. Same thing can happen with the plate. If you have a heavier plate, you can just do two arms like so, unlock those knees, hinge forward, Pull it in and then come back down. If you have a lighter plate and you want to do single arm and switch, 
similar to the running beaver on the floor. You can put your hand uh, like so, keeping that position just the same, bent over row here, pulling that up, and then repeating. For that one, you could do multiple on one side and then switch, as long as you're getting through those 20 reps. And then we've got 30 burpees. Burpees are burpees, so just make sure that chest comes all the way down to the floor. You're jumping all the way up. Jump and clap. And then once we get into these other reps here, again, you'll have to earn those in those later AMRAPs. For those spider planks, you've got 40 alternating spider planks. For this, you're gonna start in that plank position. And then from here, you're gonna kinda of aim for that elbow with your knee, and then switch to the other side. For each of these reps, you're gonna make sure that you're not making contact with the floor in that front position. Uh, your foot is returning to that plank position, and you're just reaching that knee in uh, for each of those reps. And then finally, uh, if you earn the right to do those overhead lunges, you can again use any implement that you have for those 50 alternating lunges. If you have the dumbbell, you just wanna make sure that if you're on this side here, again, you can do a forward lunge or a reverse lunge, switching sides each time. If you do half with an implement in one side, you will wanna go ahead and switch to the other side for the remaining 25. And then the other options you have are, with that plate, pressing overhead, again, you could step forward if you'd like, or you could step back. Regardless, you wanna make sure that teeth knee taps the floor for each rep. Same thing with the backpack. And that's it. So again, it's 30 minutes total. Two minutes on, two minutes off, kind of following that increasing uh, time domain uh, with the reps staying the same throughout. And you're starting with those devil's press for each. So have fun with this uh, and hope to see you guys in a Zoom class next week. Get to it.